Hello students. Today we are going to start part 2 of chapter 2 of 10th class Acids, Bases and Salts. Learning objectives of this chapter are Students will be able to list the general properties of bases. They can define and classify bases that is a strong basis and uh, weak basis. Write reactions of bases with metals and acids. Students will be able to know the uses of bases in day-to-day -day life. They will be able to define and explain pH, pH scale and universal indicator. And they will be able to know the importance of pH in everyday life. Now starting with bases. Bases are the substances which when dissolve in water release OH minus ions. OH minus ions are called hydroxide ions. For example, when solid NaOH dissolves in water, it produces Na plus ions and OH minus ions because it releases OH minus ion, hence it is a base. The second term is alkalis. Now, bases which are soluble in water are termed as alkalis. For example, NaOH and KOH. Always remember these two as uh, bases for alkalis. NaOH that is sodium hydroxide, KOH that is potassium hydroxide. Now, there is a statement. All alkalis are bases, but all bases are not alkali. And the question is, explain this statement. This is very, very important. Now, this statement means that the bases which are soluble in water, only those bases are called alkalis. So, alkalis are bases. All alkalis are bases, but all bases means the bases which are not soluble in water are not called alkalis. This is the meaning of this statement. Now, next is strong and weak bases. Now, what are strong bases like strong acids, bases which are readily and completely ionized in their aqueous solution to produce large number of hydroxide ions are called strong bases. For example, NaOH and KOH. Now, for example, if you take 100 NaOH and dissolve it in water, 100 molecule of NaOH and dissolve it in water, then they produce 100 hydroxide ions that means complete ionization of sodium hydroxide hence it is a strong base now next is weak bases bases which are slowly and partially ionized in their aqueous solution to give only a small number of hydroxide ions are called weak bases for example calcium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide etc for example, if you take 100 molecules of ammonium hydroxide, then maybe you get only 30 or 40 hydroxide ions. So, that is why it is weak base. Coming to the properties of bases. Bases are bitter in taste. Recall acid, they are sour in taste. Now, bases turns red litmus blue. A simple thing to learn this base B, blue B. So B, B, bases turns red litmus blue. Third property is that bases conduct electricity like acidic solutions. Now why they conduct electricity? Because they release OH minus ions in their aqueous solution. And because they release ions, so ions move from one electrode to another and complete the circuit and hence they are good conductor of electricity. Next is chemical property of acid that is reaction, sorry, base that is reaction of base with metal. Whenever base reacts with metal, they produce metal salt and hydrogen gas. For example, when sodium hydroxide reacts with zinc, it produces sodium zincate Na2ZnO2 plus hydrogen gas. Now, what is the test of hydrogen gas? Recall it burns with pop sound. Very, very important test. Next chemical property is reaction with acid now same as acid reacts with base is neutralization reaction similarly the reaction of base with acid is also neutralization reaction so whenever acid reacts with base it produces salt and water this reaction is called neutralization reaction 
example when hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium hydroxide it produce salt that is sodium chloride and water now uses of bases household ammonia which is used as cleanser in uh, house uh, in daily day to day housework is actually a dilute solution of ammonium hydroxide aqueous solution of magnesium hydroxide that is milk of magnesia is used as antacid to neutralize excess acid produced in our stomach NaOH that is sodium hydroxide is used in many industries like manufacture of paper textile soap industry and detergents and as a drain cleaner drain cleaner is actually the mixture of metal and sodium hydroxide next use is the solution of calcium hydroxide that is lime water is used in the test of co2 very very important test that whenever co2 is passed through lime water then it turns lime water milky now it is also used calcium hydroxide is also used in the manufacture of bleaching powder that is calcium oxychloride caocl2 now next is ph scale ph remember children p is small and h is capital now ph stands for potency of hydrogen ion and it tells us about the strength of acidic and basic solution ph scale ranges from 0 to 14 as shown in the figure now ph 7 in the middle the solution which is having ph 7 is actually neutral solution ph from 0 to 7 that 6 that is less than 7 are acidic solution and ph from 8 to 14 are called basic solutions now more the ph more will be the basic character and less the ph more will be the acidic character remember this thing now the next is universal indicator we studied about indicators now indicators are the substances which tells us about whether the substance is acidic or basic but they don't tells us about the strength of acid or base that how much strong or weak an acid or base is so to find out the strength of acid and base we use a special type of indicator called universal indicator universal indicator is actually a blend of several dyes which change its color according to the ph range 0 to 14 universal indicator may be in the form of solution or it may be in the form of paper strip and there is a scale that given in the figure is Uh, draw on that bottle or the on that packet of the paper strips now to find out the strength of a solution we just take the universal indicator strip or solution and dip it into that solution now the strip acquire a particular color according to the ph of that solution now we match the color of that strip with the one which is given on the packet that is given in the figure and we match the color and the ph of that particular color is the ph of that solution now ph 0 to 3 are having strong acids for example battery acid that is sulfuric acid lemon juice hydrochloric acid they are strong acids then ph 4 to 6 are weak acids having reddish or orange red color that is vinegar now ph 7 is neutral for example water and salt solution ph range from 8 to 11 are actually weak bases for example baking soda milk of magnesia and they are green, dark green to uh, bluish green color then ph range from 12 to 14 are strong base having ph 12 to 14 and for example naoh koh etc so this is the work of universal indicator
Now there is a list of some substances and their pH range. Saturated solution of sodium hydroxide. It is having pH of 14, for nearly 14 to 15. That means it is very, very strong acid. Now 0.1 molar solution of NaOH. This is the dilute solution of NaOH whose pH is 13. That means it is also basic. Lime water that is calcium hydroxide is having pH 10.5. Again basic. Milk of magnesia, MgOH whole twice having pH 10. Basic. Egg white, sea water, they are having 7.8. That means slightly basic in nature. Human blood is also slightly basic having pH 7.4. Milk is acidic, that is 6.8, very weak acid, 6.8. Human saliva is also acidic, having pH 6.4. Black coffee is having pH 5 and acidic. Tomato juice, 4.2, acidic. Soft drinks and vinegar having 3, it is a strong acid, uh, sorry, weak acid. Lemon juice, 2.2, strength is increasing. Gastric juices, 1.2, gastric juices actually. HCl. Now dilute HCl. One molar HCl solution is having pH 0 and very concentrated HCl is maybe having minus 1 pH. Now pH is very important in our day to day life. Now how pH is important? First thing is plants and animals are pH sensitive. Our body works within the range of pH 7 to 7.8 that is neutral to slightly basic. Now, that is why whenever the intravenous injections are given to you, then it is prepared in saline water. That means slightly basic, that is in the range of your blood pH. Now, when the pH of rainwater is less than 5.6, then this rain is considered as acid rain. And when this rain flows into rivers, it lowers the pH of the river water and the life of the uh, aquatic species becomes difficult. Now the atmosphere of Venus is made up of dense white clouds of sulfuric acid and you know that sulfuric acid is quite strong acid. That is why this make the environment of Venus too much acidic so survival of life is not possible or at Venus. Now the second importance of pH is in our digestive system. This is very, very important children that gastric juices work in acidic medium. So that is why HCl is produced in our stomach. And you know that HCl is quite strong acid. Then why our stomach is not burned by the action of HCl? The answer is because our stomach having a layer of mucus around it which protect it from the action of HCl. Now, Normally, this HCl does not harm our stomach lining. But whenever we eat too much spicy food or we overeat uh, sometimes, then what happened? That acid secretion is increases in our stomach. And whenever acid secretion increases, our stomach lining become, start burning. And this burning sensation is called indigestion or acidity. Now, to get relief from acidity, we take tablets called antacids. Antacids are actually mild bases which neutralize the excess acid of our stomach. For example, milk of magnesia, that is magnesium hydroxide, and sodium bicarbonate or sodium hydrogen carbonate, that is NaHCO3, which is also called baking soda. Third importance of pH is in agriculture. Now, Different plants require different pH. Sometimes what happened that the pH of the soil is too much acidic, that is more, less than 7. It needs to be treated with the basic substances like quicklime, calcium oxide or slake lime. Now, if the soil is too much basic, that is its pH is more than 7, then it needs to be treated with acidic substance like manure or organic matter. Now, pH and tooth decay. It is, P, uh, it is found that tooth decay starts when pH of our mouth is lower than 
there is a layer on our tooth that is called enamel now enamel is made up of calcium phosphate and it is the hardest substance of our body and normally it does not dissolve in uh, normal water but whenever we eat sugary food or food particles left in between the space of our teeth then the bacteria produce they produce bacteria because sugar is the food for the bacteria and bacteria produce acid and this acid lowers the ph of our mouth below 5.5 and the tooth enamel start dissolving or corrode so the cavity form in the tooth which cause which cause the tooth decay now to avoid this tooth decay we should clean our mouth with water after every eating and also we have to use toothpaste at least twice in the morning and at night why toothpaste is used because toothpaste is basic in nature which neutralizes the excess acid in our mouth cavity and prevent tooth decay now a very interesting thing that is chemical warfare is the use of ph you know that ants sting and bee sting whenever they sting then we feel a burning sensation because they release formic acid or methanoic acid in our uh, skin so because they produce acid or they insert acid in our skin so rubbing it with a mild base like baking soda neutralize the acid and it we feel relieved similarly there is a plant wild plant called needle plant having stinging hair these stinging hair also uh, give painful sting when touched accidentally and it is also due to the methanoic acid secreted by them and traditional remedy is present in vicinity of this needle plant that is leaves of dog plant which is basic in nature so when we rub the leaves of dog plant on the affected area we feel relieved hope you like the video if you like it please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for the upcoming videos also check the description box for the links of the videos uh, previously released thank you